Yeah, you guys, what's good? Welcome back to the video. So, as you saw by the title of the thumbnail, I'm going to be giving you guys my full review of the Nike Vaporfly Next for Sense. And today, I'm going to be going with the Nike Air Zoom Pegasus Turbo 2. I'm planning to go 10 miles today, right around 7 minutes per mile. So, this shoe, I think, will definitely help me. But if you heard in my last video, um, no, the 5K time trial, two videos ago, I said that I'm not going to be training in that shoe. I'm going to be using it for time trials and races. So, I'll, but I usually like to wear the shoe, like the full review shoe or the first impression shoe, like on, on the day of the video. But I'm not going to be wearing that shoe on today's run. And I'm going to take one of these little Gatorade Energy shoes. And then I'm going to go for the run. Since I'm not going to be running in the shoe today, I'm going to play back some footage of me running in the shoe. this run more of a tempo run than a steady run today i did eight miles at 650 a mile and this run felt pretty hard because there was i had headwind almost the whole time maybe like half a mile i didn't have a headwind but the, all the other miles yeah i had a, i had a headwind so i just had to just cut it short at eight miles and then i did a one mile recovery run which felt pretty good and now i'm back home and i'm gonna go stretch Nike Next% Percent full review right here. I bought this shoe end of November and I was eyeing this shoe for right around two and a half, three months and I finally bought it and very, very happy with it. The price tag of $250, I'll tell you about that later in the video. But starting off first, this shoe is on the feet of all elite racers, non-sponsored or sponsored. So, non-sponsored, you can choose any running shoe you want. There's uh, so there's some pretty good racing shoes out there. Uh, for the marathon, there's the Hoka Carbon X, uh, the Nike Next Percents. There's the Adidas Adios lineup, the Adios 4 and 5. Those are two really good racing shoes for the marathon. And there's many more, but this shoe just sticks out. out of, like it, it, like, beats every single shoe. And some of the specs of this shoe, it has a vapor weave upper. And what this vapor weave does, it wicks away water uh, from your foot, like your foot sweating, or um, if you, like it's raining, or you dump some water if you're dumping water on your head, and then some of it gets on your shoe. It will make the shoe heavier than what it's supposed to be. It's 6.6 .6 ounces in men's size nine. I'm a size nine and a half, so I'm guessing 6.8 ounces. But if you have a lighter foot, that's better. Uh, it's just better for all running shoes. And the foam over here, it's a Zoom X foam. Zoom X foam is the most, like, um, responsive, bouncy, like, um, it's very responsive. It's very, like, squishy and bouncy. It's just a very good foam. And it, I don't really believe this, but running warehouse saying it's 40 millimeters in the forefoot and the heel, 32 millimeters in the forefoot, which is an 8 millimeter drop. I think it's more... 37 millimeters in the forefoot and 28 millimeters in the uh, um, 30, 29 millimeters in the forefoot so 37 29 
a millimeter jab. That's what I think. But I don't know. And it has an offset lacing over here. Um, you see over there, it has an offset lacing. And what that does is locks down your foot uh, more securely. And it has a rubber outsole going all over there. And last thing about this shoe, if you have a narrow foot, if you have like a narrow foot, this shoe will do really well for you. Because if you notice, it's very, very narrow. If you have a wide foot, this shoe is not going to be for you. And also, some of the things that come with this shoe. This is probably a really cool thing about this shoe. It comes in a black Nike box over there. Um, you can see right there. And, oh, this is dusty. And you can even write your time over there uh, that you want to achieve. It's just a really nice box overall. That's the normal Nike box right there in orange. And it also even comes with a bag right here. And you can write your time that you're shooting for over there. I mean, if you're paying $250 for the shoe, you should be getting, like, it should be, like, good quality. It should come like, a good packaging. <coughs> it should have good packaging. And just like an overall nice design to it and how I feel with the shoe I think the shoe if you're gonna if you plan to go slow in this shoe it's not gonna work I mean this shoe wants to go fast it has a carbon fiber plate running right along there if you see there's a there's a big crease right there that's where the carbon fiber plate is and basically what the carbon fiber plate does it um, basically springs you forward so you land and then the carbon fiber plate pushes you forward and i think that's a big part of this shoe is the carbon fiber plate and carbon fiber plates are coming around in more and more racing shoes and i know i'm like i i want to go fast in this shoe i've run fast i ran a sub 101 10 mile run <clears throat> a sub 101 10 mile uh a sub five uh a 456 mile and many more fast times and last but not least, do I think it's worth the $250 price tag? Absolutely, yes. This shoe, I think, will change your running. It will make you run faster. It will make you run more efficient. And it's just overall a great shoe because, you know. And also, something about the design. I think the design is so cool. I think Nike nailed the design. But I think it will just better improve your running. And, you know, if you're serious about running, I think you should get it. But, like, if you run maybe, like, two or three times a week, you're not very serious about it. I don't think you should spend $250 on this shoe. Because, you know, it's pretty expensive, $250 for a pair of running shoes. I mean, um, most running shoes maybe $120, $130. But, you know, this shoe is very special, so it has that $250 price tag. Yeah, this is the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to like. Subscribe and stay tuned for more vlogs.